watching my good fiend Roger Walker on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper here. Welcome to another video movie review on the Dr. Pepper Diner. Today, we're looking at one of my favorite films of all time. It's uh, Maniac Cop 2. So, uh, I'm excited because this is one of my favorites of all time. Like I said, it's so good. And let's start the review by reading the synopsis from IMDb. A supernatural maniac killer cop teams up with a Times Square serial killer. And I just love that the maniac cop is teaming up in this film. It's so funny. It calls for some really funny moments. The opening scene, that's, that's just one of the best scenes ever in, in slasher history. That's probably the best reintroduction of a serial killer in a slasher film ever. It's, it's like up there with the Jason Lives opening sequence uh, where Jason Lives returns, you know. This, in this movie, it opens up with a robbery and a robbery by itself is so funny because the dude, uh, the dude is like, let's scratch some lotteries. Hey, let's open up some lotto tickets, huh? Sure, sure, see. I feel lucky. <laughs> I feel lucky. <laughs> and it is so funny, man. The way he delivers it is so hilarious. It's, it's hysterical. It's one of the best scenes in any movie ever. It's like one of my favorite scenes of all time. That always cracks me up. <laughs> and then he's like, oh no, we lose again. Oh no, we lose again. And he's like, I think you're lying. <laughs> Nada, Nina, nothing. Oh, keep going. Okay. Nothing again. We'll, we'll go through the whole bunch, eh? Okay. Nothing. Nada. No, I think you're lying. And he kind of reminds me of like Tuco's dumb brother, you know? Like Breaking Bad and then if Tuco Salamanca had a, like a young brother that was really dumb, this would be the dude. <laughs> and then the maniac cop returns in action. And the scene that is so... Fucking awesome is the maniac cop standing in front of a, like a refrigerator and the lighting from the back is coming at him and there are like smoke machines which is kind of overdone but it, it really helps set the mood you know and then you see him just standing there and, and you can't see anything you can see that he's like slimy and all because he was like in the river for so long I guess and then the guy shoots him with a shotgun and then the, the glass behind him explodes and it looks so amazing. Just fantastic work. Thank God you got here. <laughs> Bill Lustig did an even better job directing this movie than the first one. There are even more stunts in here, which is fantastic. Always open for that, you know? And um, in the end, uh, for example, the maniac cop helps everyone out of prison. He's basically on fire and still fighting all these prisoners trying to stop, or all these cops trying to stop him. And then what happens? They fall from a two, from the second story onto a, a bus while they're on fire, which is just insane. It's an insanely dangerous stunt. <laughs> Robert Davi is fantastic as uh, Detective Sean. He does a great job. His opening sequence is also really cool and also sets up the p character fantastically. The movie has some guts for killing off Bruce Campbell's and Lorraine Landon's characters, like in the first act, like near the end of the first act, I guess, which is just crazy. I mean, not a lot of movies have the balls to do that, and it just works really well. So yeah, Maniac Cop 2, fantastic film. This is the perfect Friday night movie some popcorn, Dr. Pepper and your Jason Goblet. And uh, other than that, I will just say I will give this movie 9.5 Dr. Peppers out of 10. Pacing is a bit slow sometimes, like during the middle a bit, but then it picks up explosively, literally, near the end. So remember, join the Slasher Army by subscribing and SP for life. See ya. Oh! You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild